Hey everybody, it's part 27. <laughs> it's part five in the finale of your 18 pound, four pound box of Goodwill auction box. So I got the earrings left and rings and a couple of pendants. I matched up everything I could. There's only a few that are without matches. I'm gonna go fast with the earrings. Um, and before I start, there was some things that I wanted to show you from yesterday that I didn't know about. For instance, this bracelet that had never been used is a Zenzi magnetic bracelet. I couldn't find the exact one. I found their website though. And I'm gonna price it for $6, okay? I don't know when this is from. I couldn't find the exact one, like I said, but it's not stretchy, remember? It undoes like that, okay? And it's six dollars. All right, and then the blue cat's eye ring. I actually found the exact one for twenty dollars. Uh, I look at this go for seven. Remember the top bezel, the bezel part is sterling. This is not. It's on seven dollars. Wait, I need to put this over here with the. Uh, I make bags up for matching and unmatching earrings and um pendants and rings so i can find them at a moment's notice anyway then there was this belt buckle that had terry what was her name terry stack 1995 on it i don't know if you said that was blurry oops sorry 1995 terry stack and I found this exact belt buckle. And it was really expensive. And I'm gonna sell this for $20. It's a gold tone, brand new, okay? Then, this, uh, I told you this was an odd necklace because of the little, there's, they're like hooks for these, metal pieces that are like gemstones to hook on. I've never seen anything like this before. I did not find this exact one. I found a lot of ones like it, but not this exact one. And these little squigglies reminded me of Brighton. So I priced this as $6, okay? The facets are so pretty. So this is $6. This I call the star flower necklace. Then this one that had the gold leaf in it, it's either in glass or resin. I couldn't find the exact one, but I found similar things. One with silver leaf. This is $10, okay? That's the gold leaf silver tone necklace. And then this guy right here is Robert Lee Miller. Robert Lee Miller from Soho. Okay, he's supposed to be a famous designer. Um, I'm going to test this for gold, and then I'm going to price it. But the, there wasn't this exact ring. There was many different rings like this. It was all kind of jewelry. He has a lot of vintage, vintage jewelry, but it says RLM in there. What I couldn't read was the R and the L looked like they were like an 8 almost, the way they were in there, but the M I could read. So... It's right in here, right there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. I'll let you. I We played this last night, I think. It's right there in the center. RLM Soho. Okay, so I'm going to test this for gold. And we'll see what we see. Looks copper to me, but, you know. Who am I? This is 10 carat first. No, so he makes costume jewelry. That's copper. Let me get a paper towel, sorry about that.
apparently he makes costume jewelry. I wasn't sure if he made um, with real metals back in the day because it's a vintage piece. This would be $20, okay? This is a gold tone dome ring by Robert Lee Miller Soho. So it's RLM Soho, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I had these two days ago. This is from um, Jane Hemingway. I found her jewelry all over the place. It said vintage, but I couldn't find this logo anywhere. It almost looked like the Hilton's logo. Some Hilton came up too, but it's Hemingway. And these look so much like aquamarine. I have a pair of aquamarine aqua earrings, but these don't feel cold to me. So I'm not going to sell this. The, they're long gold tone um, wires in the back. They come to a point right here. And this is going to sell them for $10. Jane Hemingway aqua color gold tone earrings. Okay. <clears throat> And the last one is this little deal right here. This is the Bella Leah necklace that had the um, reversible rhinestones on it. This is pretty famous here. Okay. It said something about Sorelli or something also, but Bella Leah is a pretty famous brand. It's back here. It's branded there and also on the tag right here. And this is pushing $300, but I'm not going to sell it to you for that. I'm going to sell it to you for $70. Okay. I've never heard of this before, but apparently y'all have. <laughs> there are some beautiful pieces that they put out. This is really a cool necklace. Anyway, so that's those. I promised that I'd go over them with you so I did I did my duty so now we can get busy here um I'm going to uh move quickly on the uh, earrings so unless I say otherwise they're going to be a dollar okay so if I don't say a price they're a dollar okay oh and make sure um if you're new <clears throat> tonight if you order something, if you want to order something, don't do it in the comments. Go to my email. It'll be in the description box at the bottom of my um, video. It's M-A-U-C-R-E-W-S <clears throat> at gmail.com. And that's how you order. And you do a timestamp, a brief description, and the name of the video, please. And then... Um, I do PayPal, so you'll, that's how we conduct business, and we'll go from there, and everything will be groovy, so unless I say otherwise, remember, they're all a dollar, okay? So we matched a lot, a lot. Remember this, these two things? I don't even know what this is for, but they're on a chain, so you don't know say. We got that one. We got the uh, patriotic ones. Remember these ribbon ones? We got these kind of copper brass looking ones. Ear, have ear wires. We have these acrylic uh, red. They're uh, orange red. They're pretty. Let me hook these up. I don't lose them. We have these hoops. Silver tone. We have these really pretty gold tone and black enamel. Bullet bags. These are really nice. I don't even think they've been used. We have these three from yesterday or the day before. These were like the grapes, remember? The wine grapes, the reddish wine color. These were black dangly with the um, peacock color beads. And these were the cobalt blue. Ear, um, they have um, emerald cut, cut acrylic. Okay. 
And these hoops with the black and silver tone. And these hoops, these are a bronzy color. There's a coating on the metal. It's kind of cool. Exactly. Like a enamelish. It's making it real shiny. And these are silver tone. Filigree. These look like marbles. <laughs> They're acrylic though. They're a bright, like a citrine color. Dangle. Mm. Whoa. Oh, there goes one. I'll get it someday if I don't step on it. That'd be just horrible if I stepped on that earring. <laughs> okay. We have these hoops with, um, these have, they're all the rhinestones. They're silver tone. They're really pretty earrings. And we have these. I think we saw these yesterday. They have this really cool coating. It's like a peacock color coating. I think they're ceramic. Silver tone. And we have these teeny, teeny little, they, you know what? These got to be crap because this one's kind of messed up. So I'm going to dump with those. These just need to be wiped down. They're triple, hoop, triple circles, disc, whatever. Silver tone. We got these on the, let's say a chain with a circle, like a ring and uh Posts, silver tone. We have these. We have these. Look kind of a bronzy AB color. I have no idea, folks. What? <laughs> I don't know. The black safety pin. And then we have these little seed beads, teeny tiny, a nice ear wire, so. We have these button earrings that have like confetti in them. Oh, hold on. Now it's a picture of, of flowers. <laughs> then we have <clears throat> these, and these, these are the flower earrings with the rhinestones that match. So the red ones have red rhinestone, the white ones have clear, and the black ones have black rhinestone, okay? They all are a pair. <clears throat> then we have these gold tone three circle ones. These need to be just wiped down. They're in good shape. And we have, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm going to take a drink. Hold on. I've been talking too much today. <clears throat> that was Dr. Pepper, if anybody wanted to know. These are like, um, these are gold tone uh, ear wires. They look like little Christmas um, ornaments. Like little wires right here. And these are acrylic red with the tan color, gold wires. These are itty bitty. Come back here. And they're purple, peacocky color. These are these long ones we had probably in the first video, I think. Or the second one. It's been so long. Look how long these suckers are. They're gold tone. These are some kind of... I don't want to say marshmallow, but it's not a marshmallow. It's some kind of something. I don't know. It's not wood. It's not clay. It's Maybe it's a polymer clay. I don't know. That I don't know. I haven't played with clay in a long time. But anyway, they're a little cross ones. These right here are really pretty, except for it's such a bummer. They're missing two, one stone and one stone. And I do not have these color rhinestones, so I'm gonna have to toss them. I just saw it before that I turned on the video. We have these brown kind of metal. 
color. Oops. These are real pretty. I think we had these yesterday. These are princess cut CZs, and I showed you that they were CZs, not rhinestones, because you could see the back, the culet, and the, the whole stone. See? We got these. Gold tone with these little dangles. Kind of an upside down, flirtily almost. And these gold tone. Come on, man. <laughs> and then these little stud earrings, red and black. Yeah, these little guys. They have the A, B um, rhinestones in the center. And then green ones. I guess they're hexagon. Not sure. Our peachy color. These are dolphins and um, silver tone. Three dolphins on each. Here we are. These are little flowers with rhinestones. They're really pretty. Yellowish color. These purple and these black ones. They're rhinestones, but they're really cool. The purple ones especially. I have a blue one. One blue one. And I think one green one. But I don't have the match to those. Okay. So. Oh. Oh, that's, I'm really bummed about that because they're real pretty. Okay. And then we have these leverbacks, gunmetal black with faux pearls and rondelles that are faceted black. Really pretty. These are really nice. Heavy. And these black ones. And these hammered ones. Hey, Miss Leanna, this looks like Part of your set over here. <laughs> and then have these. I don't even remember seeing these. These are kind of blue cat eye. Um, they're facet. No, they were a soft facet, I would say, okay? Because they're cut, but they're they're not pointed faceted. They're not cabochons either because they have an edge. You can see the edge to them, okay? Anyway, they're blue cat's eye. Kind of matches that ear, that ring, huh? Then we got black pirate earrings. Yay! Arg! And purple pirate earrings with purple rhinestones. And then we got three that don't match. I'm totally bummed about these. Pink, blue, and red pirate earrings with the rhinestones to match. But I have to keep those up there. Christmas bulb earrings. <laughs> I don't know if these are from Jones of New York. I cannot tell you that. They are lever back though. Um, silver tone. And they're not to be, have children under 12 around them, okay? <laughs> and we have these, do you remember these? Gold tone bows. These are beautiful. And these are the watch band, that's what I call them, watch band earrings, gold tone, gold backs. These are enamel, swirly looking things. Pull it back. These are really nice. They're crystal rhinestones, but they're they're have a, they have a nice white. They're kind of a brass color. They're nice white. And these are um, faux pearls with rhinestones. Pull it back. I showed both of these the other day. This is black enamel with 
gold tone and faux pearl. These are faux pearl with gold tone in their fans. They're gorgeous. Both of them are nice white to them. They both have bullet backs. And this one has rhinestone bullet backs. These are gold tone also, and they are they're articulated, so that's cool. Have some movement. These are these. Can I just show some with funny ears? Like these right here. This stuff is like a coating. It makes it shiny. Okay. Anyway, these are brush gold with the, that brown metal thing. With the silver tone ear wires. And we have these discs with silver ear wires, silver tone ear wires. These. Oh, these are clip-ons. Okay. These. Okay. These, this, and this. All three of these things are supposed to look like some kind of snake skin or something. You can have all three pair for a dollar. Okay? I want to get rid of them. I don't like... <laughs> There's nothing wrong with these. I just get a creepy feeling about them. That's all. So you can have all three of those for a dollar. These are heavy. These are really nice. And I do not know if that's the brand. That could be. These are nice. These are two dollars. These look like high dollar. These are. You know what? I'm not gonna. I can't sell these. Those are those leather pleather thingies. Okay. Then. Let me do these things right here. Ooh, I'm sorry, and I had a pair of crystal quartz uh, earrings with the uh, silver ear wires. Okay, these were the two, um, I'm going to lose it, bolo tie things, variet, same thing. They're beautiful, they're gold tone, I don't know what they're made of, but they're nice. These are heavy. These are, I don't know what I priced them at last time. We're going to have to look on the video. Otherwise, I'm going to say $3 a piece because I don't remember what I priced them at before, but they're heavy. This is Kentucky and Arkansas. Yay! My homies in Kentucky and Arkansas. They're thimbles and they're a dollar each. This is a brooch. No, it isn't. I lie. I remember now. This is that one. <laughs> It could be a pendant if you put the chain through here and then through here, okay? But it's a dollar, okay? This is a pendant, but this not on a chain. It's really pretty, though. It has an acrylic um, bead on it, and the chain is really nice. It's a dollar. This is that button. It says Orange Pop Rulers. Pop. That's from Midwest. We say soda down here. This is a fake point. It's not real. And it's a little ring. And it's... You can stretch it, obviously. Six right at it. All this stuff is a dollar. Okay, each stretchy ring. This one and... This one, we never did find the stone or whatever it was that went on this, but it looks like this probably. There is a dollar. This is the Lord's Prayer ring, spinner ring. This is really nice. I think this is like a size 10. Yeah, a size 10. This is a pendant that says K on it. This is a pin that says life with a whale, I believe. I don't know the significance. All these little rings. Remember this little tiny girl one? The glitter one. This one. These one. These one. Little flower one. All these little ones are a dollar. You can just describe them. I'll have them in a separate bag. They're going to be in the earring bag. This one had that weird sign on it. It looks like an air raid. That's what it looked like. 
like air raid shelters when we were kids. These are all oh, these acrylic rings. I don't even know what kind of material this is. Maybe balsa wood. I don't know. It's so light. It could be acrylic. I have no clue. Little plastic rings. That's an earring. This is the pin. It's really pretty. I call it the wave pin. Several tone. There was no mark on here for a dollar. And this one is wire wrap wood ring for a dollar. Did I size this one? I don't know. Okay, so it could be for like a pinky, like a five, maybe four and a half. <laughs> this is a pendant that had that funny stone on it, gold tone. It's heavy. And then this one is not sterling. We checked it. It's a blue. I don't think it's a real stone. And then this one, silver tone ring. This silver tone ring with a... Um, it has missing a rhinestone. Okay, so there you have those. Then the last of the bunch is the ones that I didn't match. And some people buy unmatched earrings because they have an extra earring spot. I'm not saying the other words, but I don't like it. <laughs> it's just weird. Okay. These, we have a whole bunch of little teeny tiny um, studs that I'll do last. Is this one, okay. And these you can, you know, make a deal like two for a dollar or whatever, I don't know. Oh wait, oh, we got a match over here, I forgot. These are just dangles, black, brown. This one we didn't get a match to, I'm so bummed. This one we didn't get a match to. This one we didn't get a match to. Uh, my husband tried to use a pen and it shot the lid clean across the kitchen. That was so funny. <laughs> Should have seen his face. He wasn't he wasn't amused, but that was. Okay, so we didn't get matches for those, nor this one. And this one's so pretty. I was really sad that we didn't find a match for that. <clears throat> then of course the green and the blue. And then, oh, okay, we got these two. I forgot. These look, like I said last night, look, these look weird enough to be some kind of designer stuff, right? For a dollar. This one we didn't find a match for. It's kind of blingy, blingy. This one is the same thing. It's just weird enough to be a designer something, something. But no match. And there's our pirates. That we didn't find mansions for. Three pirates. Hey, come back. With rhinestones. Okay, then these little bitty hoop earrings, they're not matched. They look like they are. Wait. No, this is not a match. Oh, there's one more pair. There's a pair of these. And then this one. So these, all these little hoops. No matches. Okay. Then this one, no match. This weird one, no match. Okay, let me see if I can find matches on these things right here. And then we're done. Then I have another box right on deck. Oh yeah, okay, purple rhinestone studs. Yes, I have a match. Yeah, I have a, a box on deck that is um, 13 and 0.8 pounds or something, something like that. These are wine color red. I don't know if you're seeing them like I do. They're rhinestones, little studs. My stomach is growling it away. Let's see. 
Yep, there's one. The black uh, rhinestones, they're pretty dull, but they're there. These are kind of a, <clears throat> a sagey type green. Well, if I could get it out of my fingers. A sagey type of green. Denny's? Can you see that a little bit? Yeah. And that one. I think this one's a mess. So there's an orange one pair right here. Nope. All these don't match. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. And this one. I'm going to check. Because it's clear. No, I'm not getting a cold. I don't get sick. We in Florida get allergies. Which really sucks. Because I never had an allergy before in my life. Until I moved out to the woods. And all that good pollen comes out. And it's gnarly. Oh, oh no, there's red on here. Hold on. <laughs> Stud X, really? Somebody actually named the company that. Come on, man. Somebody named their company Stud X, okay? <laughs> okay, then. Besides that, <clears throat> it says nine two five on it. But since it says that, why couldn't it be a diamond, right? So we're gonna let that warm up. And I haven't forgot about the winners, y'all. I've been waiting. Oh, <laughs> I published that sucker like it. The winning, the winner drawing thing. Like at 5.30 or something. And I wondered why nobody was, uh, nobody watched it, right? And one of my darling subscribers, Ms. Bradshaw, says, it hasn't, it's, it's not, maybe it didn't stream. You better check to see if it's on private. Guess what? It was on private setting. It sat there for hours. Okay, so we, first of all, I'm going to do check. We use 18 karat to check silver. I don't really know why, except for it turns to silver, bright blue. And this looks gold to me, so don't know. But if it's 10 karat gold or whatever, it will eat it because that's 18. So I will scratch it again. Yes. Yeah, this is, well, I don't know about that. Hold on. So then, where'd you go? Okay, I'm going to scratch it again and put the 10 carat on there. I didn't mean to make such a big line, but that's all right. And then I'm going to make a 14 carat line. Just for shits and giggles. And I did say that. It's after midnight. And if I get spanked, that's okay. I'm a big girl. Not in size, but old. <laughs> I'm barely five feet two. Okay, we got gold going on, folks. Do you see that? At the end of the road, we got, well, so is it 18 karat gold? Oh, uh, because the 14 didn't eat it, and the 10 didn't eat it, so what be it? <laughs> now, it looks like blue's coming up in here. Ah, this is really weird. Okay, now I have to stud X. I'm going to have to read this again. Because I thought, oh, okay, all I have to do is just read this. Okay, 585. What's that? That's 10 karat gold, right? Yeah. That's what this is. No, it's 14 karat gold. 
Because 70, 750 was 18. Twenty two karat gold is ninety nine. So five eight five is I just watched this thing yesterday. This is a gold. Okay, it's white gold. Now well, I wanna see if it's a diamond since we went through all that junk. It's still sitting, see, over there. The fourteen is on the right, ten carats in the middle, and silver is on the left. Okay, see that little pretty thing right there? Oh, well. Get back. Jack. No. Don't think so. It's making it move, but it is a really good CZ if you see it's a butamus. And it's set in a regular setting. It's not a rhinestone. Not at all. Nope, I don't want you to do that. Let me see if this squawks. No, it doesn't do anything. If you hit the metal, it it'll goes nuts. It does not like to hit metal. You see it jumping? What does that mean? Your battery is dead. <laughs> okay, well, I'll save this for tomorrow. Just because I'm mean. No. We know it's gold. Okay? Right here. You can look up right now on your phone what is 585 gold. That's 10 carat. Four something is, no, it's 14 carat. Yep. Because it's still saying on 14 also. So it's 14 carat gold. I got to change the battery on my diamond tester. So we have, oh, and it's a, it's a nine volt. All right. Well, I have to do it tomorrow. Okay. Sorry. That was a big tease. I didn't mean to do that. I was not expecting a diamond or gold at the end of the shoe. Where are my vinners? All right. So, me, the techno genius, <laughs> didn't know that I had it on private. I th I guess short videos, they automatically put it on private. Normally, it's always says public on the my long ass videos. Okay. So I apologize for that because I had it up. But anyway, the fourth winner was Lisa Lynn. Congratulations. The third winner was Lindsay Huff. I think this is right. The next one was Carmen Fanesca. I murdered her name before. And number one was Maria Marquez. So y'all four pirates need to get a hold of your chief pirate. Uh, email me, please. Mm, I think I got a couple of y'all addresses already, but that's all right. Officially email me for your win. And this pirate not only did not bring out your prize either, but there's two, first and second are getting strands of pearls. They're freshwater pearls with sterling silver findings. Second prize is not, I mean, it's the third and fourth prize is uh, gemstones, necklaces with sterling silver findings. Okay. So, Congratulations to everybody. Thank you. It was rocking. You guys were rocking. Everybody was cracking up. We, I love our, my pirates. I love y'all very much. This is, you guys are the best. And um, congratulations, like I said. I'm going to save this little thingy right here for tomorrow so we can find out what it is. My battery, I didn't, maybe I blew it up, huh? Anyway, thank you all. Um, tomorrow we'll start the, um, 13 point something box and it's from Arizona. I've not got a box from Arizona before. So I got to, I decided to check them out and see what kind of goodies they had. I was doing real good with the Carolinas, but I thought, yeah, let me try the 
Phoenix or no, I don't know what if it's Phoenix or Tucson. It's Arizona. I know that. Anyway, I love y'all. Thank you all very much. Have a great night. Ciao for now. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.